Hey YouTube, how's it going? Sunglasses here with the Illegal Show. Um, I'm thinking about getting my newscast going again. I like doing it. It's kind of fun. I get to read some gaming articles or whatnot. Um, I don't always like the games that the articles are about, but I know you guys all like games and whatnot as well. So I figured I might as well start doing my newscast again since I enjoy doing it. Luna. <laughs> it's my dog. First thing is... Apex Legends, some of you may know this, but some of you may not, announced uh, about 25 minutes ago. Uh, Apex Legends may be going mobile, such as Fortnite and PUBG. Um, there's not a lot of information about it since it was just announced, but for those of you that like playing on console and wish you could play like while on the go and still level up and stuff, if you're traveling or whatnot, this may happen and it may come to mobile, which is kind of exciting for you guys. Um, I don't really like Apex. I don't really like... Uh, uh, Battle Royale games like that. I'm not really a fan of um, starting with absolutely nothing. Like, uh, no matter how good you are, you start with nothing like everybody else. I don't, I don't know. It's not really a game for me. Um, something cool, uh, Destiny 2. My buddy uh, Chris plays this quite often. Um, there was a recent patch Tuesday morning, I think, and then uh, people actually found a new quest line for an exotic item. It's on Bad Neighbors. Uh, the quest line, Bad Neighbors, um, there's a secret door, and you find a, a fallen transporter, and basically that's as far as people got. They know it's a, a exotic item that you like are able to loot and whatnot, but that's as far as they got. So if you like puzzles and you like figuring things out, get on this, figure it out. Uh, let the forums know and other people that play Destiny too how to complete this quest because no one's really sure what to do yet. So that's kind of interesting for you as well. Um, big news for, uh, oh, my bad, for uh, Mortal Kombat. Um, they made it to the Hall of Fame. Um, I think the franchise, Mortal Kombat is in the Hall of Fame, not a certain game. But uh, they had a whole bunch of games. They had arcade games. They had console games. They had movies. They had all this stuff. And um, I feel, from what the article said, that they think the game leads to violence, right? And it... it, it it like okay's violence to happen and that's why it took so long to actually make it into the Hall of Fame even though it's been a fan favorite for a long 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 time but um, I think people are really actually starting to realize that video games do not cause violence okay the reason those kids are violent is because their parents fucking hate them and they lock them in their room with video games and so they play video games with their parents hate that's not a way to play video games you know you just, that's, okay. I'm not gonna get into that but Mortal Kombat made it into the Hall of Fame, and I think it's about time with that. Um, I played Mortal Kombat at a friend's house a long time ago. I wasn't a fan of it. I just got it picked up again, thanks to uh, Marie and Frankie. They got me back into Mortal Kombat. So I've been playing them since uh, XL, like maybe uh, mid-season of XL. So I like it again, I suppose. <laughs> it's fun to play once in a while. And um, Borderlands 3, there's a bit of a lawsuit thing for the guy who voices Claptrap. Um, there's a whole bunch of controversy about it. They're not going public with anything. I have uh, a couple quotes I want to read. Um, 2K says that they won't give a statement regarding an outgoing lawsuit, but if the allegation is false, then it sure seems a lot easier to deny it, since that's the only reason they're mentioned. Okay, see. So... 2K is saying, no, nah, that's not true, that never happened, and the uh, lawsuit is from the voice actor of Claptrap, who is actually saying, I just read this two seconds ago, the CEO, Randy Pitchford, did something to him or assaulted him physically or what have you, so apparently the CEO attacked a voice actor. I don't think it's true. I think the guy's like, well, you, this franchise is making a lot of money. It's my turn to actually get a payout, which um, you see a lot. And then he um, he said he offers services for free. Yeah. I ultimately offered my services for free in exchange for past royalties owed, plus a apology for something I've never spoken about publicly until now. So, I don't know. I think it's a whole bunch of bullshit to try to get a bunch of money off a company that's doing well. 2K, keep it up. If you got a scrap claptrap, we'll understand. Just have a good cutscene for his death. And uh, that's pretty much all the news I got for you guys. I do my news really quick. I get 
I don't know. I get a couple stories I want to go through. I read about them, get the gist of it, let you guys know as quick as possible so I'm not wasting your time and you're not wasting my time. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my Twitch. I'll be streaming in about two weeks. So, yeah, I, I, I've been in school, as you guys know. So, love you all. Peace out. Have a good one.